Okay, four balls. Now, a lot of people think that four balls is kind of done like this, and you just hold on to the fourth one. See, so yeah, I've got four, but as you can see, I'm just juggling three right now. Uh, or some people just can't figure out where to fit it in. Uh, that's because they don't know that four is done by juggling two balls in each hand at the same time. Kind of like this. All right, so now to work on this, we have to go all the way back to one ball because we haven't worked on doing a throw from the same hand into the same hand. So a right-handed throw to the right hand, and we're gonna make these throws starting from the inside of the shoulder right next to the face and then arcing outward just a little bit so that it ends uh, lined up with the center of the shoulder and falls right down into your palm. Goes up here, lines up with the center of the shoulder, and lands right there. And even with these throws, even though it's a little bit wider than a crossing pattern, you wanna make sure that it's not going outside the frame of your body. Everything still happens within your body's frame. Nothing passes the outside of your shoulders. So you're gonna work on this a little bit from the right hand, and then from the left hand. Again, make sure you're standing correctly. Sometimes I forget, you have to always remind yourself, make sure you're standing in the correct body position before you start throwing anything. After you get this down with one, then you're ready to move on to two. Okay, so now, first thing, keep in mind, you have to work on your right side as much as your left, and your left as much as your right. You don't wanna favor either side over the other. You wanna be evenly balanced in your skill. So, we'll start with the right, we'll do a few throws, and then we'll start with the left. So with the right, the timing is the same for when you were doing two crossing throws. As soon as one reaches the top, you throw the next one. The only difference is it's all happening in one hand. Now the reason why we worked on arcing this ball out is because the second ball is gonna have to go along the same path. And if they don't arc out, they end up smashing right into each other. So you wanna make sure that you clear the path by creating a circular arc pattern so that they can continually go like this. Well, you're not gonna start off with that many throws. You're gonna start off just with two throws. Now, when you work on each hand individually, a lot of people have the tendency to turn their body in the direction of the hand that they're working on. So if they're working on two, they would turn over here and do this. They work on two on the left, they turn over and do it like this. And you can just imagine what would happen to your body if you did four balls at the same time like that. Your body would rip in half all the way through your head and your skull. And, well, that would probably kill you. So you wanna make sure that you're, you're facing forward and you're looking straight up, and if the throws are made the way they should be, which is right next to your face, you can see them. Uh, at the very worst, you'll see them out of your peripheral vision. But you can see, I'm not moving my body, I'm looking straight up, and I'm just making the throws. And I'm throwing into my vision and then stopping. Two throws, work on the right, work on the left. If you have to, and I don't recommend this, but at the very least, you can move your eyes side to side to side to side. But you can imagine, if you're doing four, your eyes are going to get tired. You know, move back. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm moving my eyes really fast back and forth, or at least I think I am. So you just want to look straight through the center. You know, you want to get a kind of a scope of the overall pattern. All right, so same thing with this. Same thing with three balls. Two throws ten times in a row, and then you can go on to three throws ten times in a row and then four throws, and then five throws. Each one 10 times in a row with perfect body form, not moving your feet, not moving your head back and forth, not twisting your body, everything happening right in front of you within the frame of your body. Did you get all that? Good. So we're just doing two throws right now. Now, just like I was saying before, you wanna master one level before going on to another one. So you wanna make sure you can do two throws 10 times in a row perfectly before you go on to three throws. And you wanna start, you wanna keep building it up like that until you get up to about 10 or 15 throws. Then there are some exercises with three that you can work on uh, before going on to four that gets you a little bit more acquainted with the timing that you're gonna to have to have for four. Now from three, you're gonna throw one up just like that in a four ball pattern, it doesn't cross. One up like that, and then once that one's up there, you're gonna throw two, and then you're gonna catch the one that was up and then throw it back up. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, one, back into three. And you notice everything that's happening on the right side is just two in one hand. And then I'm choosing to throw one with the left hand at the same time I'm throwing one with the right hand. One, two, one. And also I'm using all these throws are inside to outside. You don't want to do this. Some people do this, which is fine for 
only this, but if you're working on four, you want to work on that inside to outside pattern. You can either do it synchronized like this, or you can alternate like this. And that's basically an alternating four ball pattern, just with a hole right there where the four, fourth ball would be. Work on this from the left side too. One, two, one, back into three. Or this pattern alternating with the hole, this time in the right hand. All right, after you work on that, now you're ready to move on to four. First thing that we want to do with four balls is get used to throwing two balls out of each hand at the same time while still holding on to two balls. So we're going to throw right, left, and then stop. We're also going to get practice catching with a ball on each hand. Right, left, and stop. Ten times in a row of that. I know it's tedious and boring, but this is what's going to prepare you for juggling perfectly. If that's comfortable, try three throws, starting from the right hand and then starting from the left hand. Now really pay attention to the placement of these balls. Make sure they're not crossing in front of your face. Line them up with your shoulders. Inside of the shoulder to the center of the shoulder. All right, after that feels comfortable for you, move on to four throws. Right, left, right, left, and stop. Starting with the left hand as well. Starting with the right hand, and starting with the left hand. You can work on this alternating like I am right now, and then also work on it synchronized like this. Just four throws for now. Once you master four throws with this, then move on to six throws. All right, after you can get to about 20 throws with four balls, then you're probably ready to see how long you can keep going for. I would also practice doing this at different heights too. Try to get it higher, still the exact same pattern, lined up with the, with the side of your face, the inside of your shoulder, and arcing out to the center of your shoulder and also see how low you can get it. Work on increasing your speed. Do it lower. See how low you can get it. And see how high you can get it. Again, not moving your feet, not twisting your body at all, everything happening right in front of you.